Although here it's important to understand that back then there were no trees around. So here this is not a mushroom in a forest at all. With this once again being a much more accurate image. There were only a few small plants around. And so basically by 2001, based on several studies, various morphological studies established that this was very likely some kind of a mushroom ancestor. But it wasn't actually clear if they were vertical or horizontal. As a matter of fact, several studies started to suggest that maybe these were not vertical mushrooms, but were actually lying down similar to a typical fungal mat. And inside of this mat, or inside of this trunk, researchers identified huge amounts of tubes, approximately 50 micrometers in diameter, that would essentially crisscross, creating this larger structure. And that by itself actually made it just a little bit unusual. We'll come back to this in a few minutes. Nevertheless, what was clear is that this was a perennial organism, or basically an organism that would take multiple years to grow, but exactly what kind of a fungi or what kind of an organism was not entirely clear. And also because it was kind of large in size, here it would also suggest some kind of a network of roots that would provide nutrition to this organism as it grew in size. And so here we had this giant mushroom, kind of acting like a typical tree. 